Hola, ¿qué tal? Profesor Pablo, grammar lesson number 26, prepositional pronouns. Point number one, they are the same as subject pronouns except in the yo and tu forms. Point two, use me and ti for me and you after a preposition. Examples, it's for me, es para mí. It's for you, es para ti. But es para ella, it's for her. Point number three, el and ella can also mean it after a preposition. Example, I'm going to work with it. Voy a trabajar con él, if it's masculine. Voy a trabajar con ella, if it is feminine. So some key points here to remember. After a preposition like de or para, like it's for me, you don't say es para yo, you say es para mí. And you want to say it's for you, you don't say es para tú, you say es para ti. So instead of yo and tú, we use me and ti. Me has an accent mark because it means me, and me without the accent mark means my. You might remember that from our sentence starters. T, no accent mark. Now, the other subject pronouns stay the same here for prepositional pronoun usage as well. It's for him, es para él. It's for her, es para ella. It's for us, es para nosotros. But if you want to say it's for you formal, you would say es para usted. It's for you guys, es para ustedes. But... If you want to say it's for you, familiar, you would say es para ti. It's for me, es para mí. All right, there you go. Okay, es todo. Hasta la próxima lección. This is Professor Pablo signing off. Cambio fuera.